Hello and welcome to another video from Minus Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we're looking at the 1993 release by Comet Miniatures from their Doctor Who uh, 1 8 scale vinyl model kits. Um, with this particular one being of the second Doctor, uh, Patrick Troughton. Um, and it was released in 1993 as part of the 30th anniversary celebrations of Doctor Who. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in. Uh, and at the top it says Comet Miniatures uh, and their logo, the Union Jack. It's got the Doctor Who logo, BBC 1973, licensed by BBC Enterprises. And there you have an image of the actual uh, finished, painted um, version of the model kit. Um, and there's a Dalek beside him. And it says Doctor Who, 30th anniversary, 1963 to 1993. 1.8 scale vinyl model kit. It's got Patrick Troughton. 1.8 scale Dalek not included, available separately from Comet Miniatures. Okay, um, that's what's on the, the front of the box. Let's turn the box to the side. And here it says Patrick Trout on 1.8 scale vinyl model kit. And again, there's the image, the completed image of the model. Um, and it says Comet Miniatures. Uh, it's got their logo and their address details there. Um, now, it was actually made by Amarang for Comet Miniatures. Uh, and their details are also on the side of the box. Uh, and if we just go down a little bit, we can see the Doctor Who diamond logo. Uh, it says 30th anniversary, 1963 to 1993. Um, and it's got the Doctor Who logo, BBC 1973, licensed by BBC Enterprise Limited. Uh, and it's num this particular model is CM013. And if I just turn the box over, hold it there, uh, you can see again, you've got a very good image of the face of Patrick Troughton that's been painted. Um, and then it says again, Comet Miniatures with logo on the top left hand side. It says Patrick Troughton, 1.8 scale vinyl model kit, model suitable for eight years, supervision recommended, under 16. Paint and glue required. Doctor Who logo, BBC 1973, licensed by BBC Enterprises, CM013 and it's got V in brackets. And on the left-hand side, it's got Doctor Who, 30th anniversary, 1963 to 1993. Okay, that is pretty much everything that's printed on the box. Let's open the box up now and have a look at the contents. So I have opened the box um, and you can see the contents are actually contained in a bag. Um, and if I just open the bag and take the pieces out, we can see what we've got. Let's just remove the bag out of the way. Okay, so this is how the model kit comes. So it is hard vinyl. Um, so you do need to uh, have the same. The likeness of Patrick Trout, and if we just have a look at that, is very good indeed. Um, clothing is pretty much as you see it on the box. Um, but obviously it needs to be painted because this is in beige vinyl. Um, legs and feet um, and there's the top section there so obviously that they have to be assembled onto there somehow um, and then you've got the arms so there's his right arm which also goes somewhere on there um, I'd imagine all this has to be removed and, and stuck on. Um, we'll have a look at the instructions in a moment. And there's his right, uh, his uh, left arm. The same thing applies there. Um, I'm sure some of that will have to be removed. And there is his flute or recorder, um, which is uh, also shown as him holding it on the image. Um, okay, so it comes with a full set of instructions. Uh, which are these. It says Doctor Who, Patrick Troughton. Uh, it says, with the reincarnations of the Doctor uh, now well known, it came as somewhat of a surprise to discover three years into the original series of Doctor Who that the main character could change his appearance. Consequently, the grumpy and stern character of the Doctor that resembled an actor called William Hartnell changed into a personality that has been described as having more than a touch of Charlie Chaplin. So Patrick Troughton played the Doctor in a completely different way to William Hartnell. The authoritative air was replaced by one of innocence, which often led his enemies to think he was far more harmless than was actually the case. Uh, this was 
accentuated by his clothes, which changed from the elegant style of the first Doctor to baggy black coat with innumerable pockets, trousers, which invariably sported the tartan pattern and a large floppy spotted bow tie. Tucked into the top coat pocket was an equally large and flappy handkerchief, which could be used for great effect, from wiping his, his feathered brow to waving goodbye to some helpless enemy. Another device that would often be discovered in some capacity inside pocket was the multicoloured uh, recorder, which the Doctor and Patrick Chowton as well had learned to master slightly over the years. Patrick Chowton played the Doctor for three years, from 1966 to 1969, although made guest appearance in later stories. Okay, and this goes on to tell you a bit more information about Patrick Troughton. And now I so said, this is the the model. This model is the first in a series of Doctor Who characters by Comet Miniatures. It is moulded in the ma main in vinyl with one white metal part, the recorder. The figure is uh, to a 1.8 scale, which matches the existing Comet Miniatures kits of the Daleks and will match other models from Doctor Who in the future. And then it gives you the instructions uh, for the winding, for the uh, vinyl kit and how to make it. And you, as you can see on there, it tells you you have to remove these areas, which was what I thought when I looked at the uh, model itself. And that's how it all slots together. So you, you cut out all this area and then the, 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 that section in the center and then the, the um, waist connects to the waist on the top half of the body and the same this, this area needs to be removed so the arms can connect to the body um, it also says that if you wish you can fill the lower section with a weight e.g. E sand or plaster okay that is the model kit um, nice little kit um, it is a, quite a complicated one to paint though um, so if you want to have it looking like it is, let's just move that over there, like it is on the uh, front of the box, um, you need to be quite a good model, not model maker, but a good model painter. Um, so it is, it's not as, uh, as simple as you would um, hope it was going to be. But none of these kits ever were back in the day, back in the 90s. They were all quite difficult they were, and you had to be a, a fairly decent model maker to be able to assemble them all. Uh, well, not so much the assembling, but the painting. Now, as you know, uh, Comet Miniatures closed down some years ago, um, and um, these kits now are very difficult to find. So they were released for the 30th anniversary, and I think they carried on for a few years uh, before being discontinued. Um, and now they are very, very difficult to find, especially in this mint unmade condition. Although the box has got some wear along the edges um, where it's been stored, but otherwise the contents and everything else inside is mint and untouched. So um, like I say, trying to find them like this is almost an impossibility now. But as usual, we at Minus Touch have managed to find a few, which are currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Doctor Who items and many other vintage toys game to collect was done to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody and I know you won't want to miss that because we literally have thousands and thousands of more items which we are uploading on a daily basis to the uh, website. Um, so if there's something unusual you're looking for or something you've been hunting for for a, quite some time, that obscure item that you've never been able to find, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be the item you're looking for. So that's it from me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you again soon.